What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm so excited because I took you guys thrifting with me a few days ago and I did something a little bit different than I normally do. I kind of was inspired by a specific like theme. But before we get into thrifting video, I just want to let you guys know that this video is in collaboration with my very favorite, I bet you guys can guess it, perfume brand. It is Dossier. If you guys haven't heard me gush about how much I love Dossier in the past, here we go. If you guys have, just know that I got a new amazing fragrance this month that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Probably in my top five favorite Dossier fragrances, which is a hard list to get on because I have quite a lot of them. I have like a whole collection at this point. If you guys don't know about Dossier, Dossier makes dupe for high-end fragrances at an affordable price, but they're still very luxurious and high quality. They have beautiful packaging. So if you know a high-end fragrance that you really, really like, but you want to get something a little bit more affordable, they are your company, you guys. And what's really awesome about them is they come in these like cute little boxes right here. They give you a little mini so that you can test it out, make sure that you really like the fragrance before opening up the full size one. That way, if you don't like the fragrance, you can just return it easy peasy. So for this video, I decided to go with something new and this is the Floral Lavender Fragrance. Now this one is the one that's supposed to smell just like the new YSL Libre. I saw that all over social media when it came out, like everyone was raving about it, but I hadn't had a chance to smell it, but I felt like like so many people that have similar fragrance styles as me loved it. So when I saw Dossier made this floral lavender that's supposed to smell just like the YSL Libre, I was so excited. This one smells amazing. It is a little bit more girly, I would say, or like floral and feminine smelling. Normally I like a very unisex, almost masculine smelling scent. I would say that this is a great daytime fragrance and also kind of like a spring and summer fragrance. I mean, I totally wore it today and it smells amazing. I'm gonna spray some. <laughs> I would probably say that this is in my top three favorite of all of the Dossier fragrances. I really, really want to try the Baccarat Rouge dupe. That one has been on my like wants list, but every time I go to Dossier, they are sold out. So eventually, hopefully I get that one. I did just wanna share with you guys one of the other ones that I absolutely love. This is the Oriental Woody 8. This one's supposed to smell like Le Labo's Centel 33, which is such a unique scent. This one is a spot on dupe. I love it so much. It's much more of like a unisex smell. To me, it smells like an expensive spa, like, it's somewhere you would go or like a hotel. You know when you go in an expensive hotel and you're just like, oh wow, this is ritzy. <laughs> That's what this smells like to me. So if you guys have never checked out Dossier, I highly suggest it. I will leave any details down below about coupon codes, where to find them. I'm pretty sure they have like a new scent quiz as well that you can like go through and check off things that you like and it'll recommend certain scents to you. Thank you so much Dossier for always teaming up with me. I'm always down. You guys are so great and seriously, I should do an entire Dossier perfume like collection video. <laughs> Let me know if that's something that you guys would like me to do or just like a perfume collection in general. Sometimes people like that. So I decided to go thrifting. Let's rewind a few days to back when I went shopping for all these fun items. All right, guys, we are at Goodwill. I'm so excited. I have a list of things that I want to look for today. I've been recently going on Pinterest again. I feel like I like go in and out of using Pinterest, but I've been back on a Pinterest kick. I made a whole new board and I noticed that I've been really drawn to things I'm not normally drawn to, like very bright colors, very like funky prints, like super, I mean, very 70s, which I am normally really into, but like really colorful, funky things, which isn't my normal prerogative. Like I feel like I normally really like neutrals and I have a ton of neutrals, but I don't have that much like really colorful stuff in my wardrobe. I noticed too, a lot of the things I was pinning were like neutrals mixed with color. So I feel like I could integrate pieces really easily into my wardrobe that I have now. All the like style I've been really inspired by lately, ever it's like, oh, that's very eccentric, which I would agree. It's like very like bold and eccentric and like funky. If you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, I will maybe put a few images here and then I will link my Pinterest board down here if you guys are like interested in seeing what I'm, what I've been really liking lately. So I made a quick list. I want bright colors to mix with my neutral wardrobe and also like very funky, chunky, like, very out there prints. 
I'm also looking for like mules or oxfords. I still haven't found my perfect pair. Also looking for non-jean pants, especially ones that have different prints on them. I'm looking for accessories. So like bags, glasses, hats, anything to like make a outfit just like go to the next level. I'm also looking for yoga pants or pants that I can roller skate easier in, like stretchy, stretchy hippie pants. And then I also want to get a cardigan. And I saw this picture here of Roxette Arista here on YouTube, right here that has like little safety pins down the center. And I feel like I could DIY that so easily without having to like actually buy the expensive sweater. So I'm looking for a cardigan or a sweater that I can cut and do that too. But that is it you guys, let's go right outside to the Goodwill. I'm in my hometown today, hometown Goodwill. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna start out in purses and then head over to dresses just because I'm really feeling the accessories. So let's go, let's go straight over to purses. cute seems a little small for me though I like bigger purses because I carry a lot of stuff but I really like that I feel like it's like a good accent and like pop of color it's a cute little shape but I'm gonna leave it behind oh, what is that this Yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. You guys know I also love looking in the lingerie section because they have a lot of like slip dresses or like little cami tops that I feel like pair really well with other things. So this is one of my favorite sections is lingerie. the vibe I was talking about the little slip dresses this one isn't in my size and I have something similar so I'm not gonna pick it up but like this is kind of like the feel I was going for yeah. I'm over at the uh, skirts I really love this color but it's just too much of a summery print and I also found this cute little knit skirt just a nice winter knit but I think I'm gonna leave it behind I don't think that there's anything in skirts for me today, which I'm kind of bummed about. I was hoping to find a good skirt, but maybe we'll find a dress instead. This skirt is so cute, just from Forever 21, but it's not my size. I wish it was, it's really cute. I wonder if it would maybe fit, but not my size. All right, so far in dresses, the only thing I've found are these kind of like wide leg, it's like a jumper or a overalls. Um, they're just kind of like a, houndstooth plaid print. Be cute with like a turtleneck or like a really chunky sweater underneath. They're from Heart and Arrow. I don't know if I know that brand. I might have to look it up really fast. You guys, yeah, no more dresses over here. Now I'm gonna go over to shoes, but make a pit stop at jackets because it's on the way over to the shoes. And then I'll come back over here for the blouses and tops. Anyone need a fidget spinner? <laughs> I noticed that I pinned a lot of like this turquoisey color with brown, like the outfit was like browns and then turquoise together, which I thought was really nice, but I'm gonna leave this one behind, but something to keep in mind. This little velvet cropped blazer is pretty cute. I don't know if I get any use out of it, but I like the style. New with tags. It's a pretty taupe color. Maybe I'll try it on. <laughs> I was also looking for quilted jackets. There was a really cute pink one on my Pinterest board. This one's green, which I just bought a green one. So I'm gonna leave it, but I love the quilted and patchwork trend, especially in jackets. All right, in the jackets, I found this two-piece set. I know it's very neutral, but I think I'd put like a really funky blouse underneath. And I feel like it might fit me. So that's kind of exciting. I didn't see a price tag on it though. And then, and then I also found this blazer jacket. There it is, Armani. 
Not too sure about that one. I found these cute little boots, but they are 18.50, so I'm gonna leave them behind, but I thought they were kind of cute. All right, you guys, no shoes for me today. But again, I don't like the style of the blouse. Like, I don't like the bottom. I just feel like it's a little dated, but I do really like this print. I actually kind of like this one. It's like sheer. I don't normally like red, but I actually think that this is a super cute little top, but it's very summery, so I'm gonna leave it behind. But, and it's just Shein. I actually like it. I know I told you guys I was gonna get colorful stuff and I'm trying on all neutral. First up, I'm gonna try on these. These are way too small. Like, they're tiny. Are these kids? These might be kids. <laughs> Love the way the pants fit, but the jacket just like, no. All right, you guys, I just got back in the car, honestly. Today wasn't a very fruitful day. Uh, sometimes thrifting is just like that. Like I feel like sometimes I wanna scratch the video when I only find like two items and it's not anything what I was looking for. And some of the stuff that I got was like really neutral. So it wasn't really what I was looking for. Like I did get a few things and spoiler alert, I got the patchwork bag. I don't know, I didn't find as much as I wanted to. And I really wanted to do the fun styling portion of this video. Cause I just feel like so inspired right now. And then I just got like boring stuff that wasn't even like on topic. So maybe within the next few days, I will go thrifting. I do have to go sourcing for my Poshmark and Depop closets. And I like to do that separate days that I'm not filming YouTube videos. I kind of like to keep them as I try to focus. So maybe I'll try to source some things for myself while I'm sourcing for my closets. And then we will do the styling portion that will include this cutie little bag and the other things that I got in here along with what I was going for today. I guess it just depends on if I find stuff in the next few days when I'm sourcing. All right, you guys, we are back from the thrift store and I have all of my items. I have also inputted a few things that I have found over the last few days while I was sourcing for my Poshmark and Depop closets. If you guys wanna shop my closets, I always link everything down below in the description bar. But I did find a few things for myself to add into this video that were a bit more like funky and fun because as you guys saw when I was at the thrift store, I just kept finding a bunch of very basic neutral things, which is opposite of what I was going for like that's what I normally thrift and I wanted to do really I don't know just like unique pieces I would say or just like funky fun things and I wasn't finding it so don't worry I found a few things to put in there over the last few days so the first one I found this actually recently in my previous thrift video that I showed you guys on my channel you guys might have got a little like sneak peek of it in my cart it's just such a funky fun sweater I don't have anything like this the brand Marie Chantel Paris I got this at Salvation Army and it was six dollars this I was thinking of maybe like a red skirt mixing patterns. A lot of my Pinterest board is like print mixing, so maybe a patterned red skirt would be really, really cute with this. It's fun, it's funky, it's different. It's definitely a standout piece. All right, you guys, it's the next day. I had to film the trial on the next day, and I'm in my basement, so sorry if it's a little echoey. But here is the full outfit shot styled. So I put the sweater on and I wanted to pair it with something red and I also wanted to print mix the patterns right here. So I just paired it with this skirt. I did thrift this skirt, I think in Palm Springs, um, maybe a year ago. And then I did pair it with this little black purse. And then some of my little, I think these are Dolce Vita boots. So I just wanted to tie in the black accessories with the hat. But I do really like how this outfit came out. It's so out of my comfort zone and it's definitely not something that I would normally put together. I think it's pretty cute, fun, funky, and exactly what I was going for. So I'm really glad that I found this little vintage sweater here. 
All right, you guys, I actually did end up finding some yoga pants or stretchy pants right here. These ones are from the brand Athleta, which I really do like that brand. I feel like they're very comparable to Lululemon stuff. The thing I'm bummed about is these ones aren't super high-waisted. I would say they're more of like a mid-rise, and I'm just a high-waisted girl. I'm not, I'm not into that new low-rise thing going on. I will not be partaking in that. <laughs> How I plan on styling this, there was that picture of Emma Chamberlain that I showed earlier in the video and she just had on a cute little like t-shirt, some white sneakers, and like a little headband. I just thought she looked so cute. This definitely doesn't go with the rest of the video that was like standout pieces but this is something that I feel like I wanted to thrift because I don't really have any yoga pants and I'm gonna roller skate in these because they are stretchy and comfy. All right, you guys, here is the outfit with the yoga pants that I'm trying to do the similar thing as Emma Chamberlain. It was a pretty basic outfit, but I thought it was cute, and I knew that picture, like, blew up on the internet, so I figured I'd just recreate it. I just paired it with this Pepperdine University sweater that I thrifted, but I feel like any collegiate or kind of, like, Nike Adidas type, like, graphic sweater would work. And then here I have on the yoga pants. I like that they're just a little bit of a flare at the shoe. I just had these little tennis shoes from Ross on, um, but I feel like they'd look really cute if you guys have Air Force Ones, which I know a lot of people do have Air Force Ones because they're such a basic sneaker. I'm sorry that my camera doesn't have a lens that you can see my full body, but here is the full outfit. Just Pepperdine little sneakers. It'd be really cute to have like a little black backpack I think to pair with this or even like maybe a black Prada shoulder bag would be really really cute if you have one of those like the nylon ones would be adorable. These were a good purchase. Oh my god you guys this is probably my favorite piece of the entire haul. Everett isn't a fan but I literally love it and I feel like it's pretty typical of me. I found this at Salvation Army the same day I got the blue and red sweater down there and it is this amazing, sorry you can't see it in frame very well, but it is a Sacred Threads 100% silk baby doll dress and it just has all of these different patchwork pieces all over it. So all different silk fabrics. Oh my god, it's just so unique and fun. Like, it's definitely a dress that you're never gonna find, like, two of the same one. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so fun and funky, and that's what I was going for. I love it. I mean, granted, it's winter time. Like, it's literally December, and this is, like, a little tiny dress. <laughs> so I probably won't be able to be wearing this anytime soon, not until spring or summer. But I am, like, sickeningly obsessed. This was $8.00. Sorry guys, I'm definitely losing light down here, so hopefully it doesn't get too dark. Here is the little silk baby doll dress styled. I tried to style it as much as I could for winter, even though this probably isn't something I would wear in winter, maybe fall time. So here is the dress, and then I just put on this long duster cardigan. I think I thrifted this one, and it's originally from Forever 21. For my shoes, I just have on these like light beige cowboy boots, and they have like a really beautiful like embossed like cut out on the leg hard to see it had so many gorgeous like greens in the front part of the dress I thought it would look really cute with my brand new Angela Roy bag if you do end up liking any of these outfits that I put together I'm curious to know which one was your favorite okay all right you guys these next two pieces kind of go together or at least in my mind they do I might separate them when I try them on if they don't look cute but they are these two little pieces right here. Inspo for this one was this photo right here. Just this girl in a super cute little like fitted dress with a long sleeve shirt underneath. I just thought she looked so like retro 70s adorable so I wanted to try to recreate it and when I saw this dress I felt like it was the same kind of style even though it's not the same color. Mustard yellow corduroy dress and then it does have that little like square neckline right here. Sky and Sparrow and this was five dollars and then I thought it would look cute with this sheer little top right here underneath I'm imagining them together and hopefully it is cute this one doesn't have a brand as well but these little sheer tops I feel like have been really in lately this one was two dollars and 29 cents and I just thought it was so fun and funky and like very different even if I don't wear it with that dress I feel like maybe putting a cute little like bralette underneath this and tucking it into pants or tying it up or something. I could definitely make this piece look really cute. This isn't something that you come across 
every day. Here is this little outfit right here. I kind of have to bend over because I'm too tall for the mirror, but I just have on this little like brown newsboy cap. I have on the little form-fitting dress and then I paired the sheer white shirt underneath. And then for my shoes, I just have on some like square-toed, chunky-heeled like, I feel like they are vintage kind of shoes. Only thing I'm missing is those little white ankle socks. If I had the little white ankle socks, I feel like this outfit would be so much cuter because it would tie in the white shirt with a little ankle sock. And yeah, I've been really loving that style. And then for my bag, I have this gorgeous little carpet bag that I thrifted and I actually have never worn it, but I feel like it goes really well with the same colors since it has that tan from the hat and the shoes. And then it has some like yellows and reds. I feel like it is a very vintage inspired outfit. So I feel like it does kind of like tie everything together. This next piece I actually found at my local, not cancer aid, but um, hospice thrift store. Um, but they are these super cute little plaid pants. They are from Loft. I wish they were a bigger, chunkier plaid, like the ones I showed you in the very beginning of the video where it was like huge, chunky plaid. But I was excited to find some non-jean pants, which is what I was going for, and I wanted them to have kind of like a funky pattern. So even though it's kind of a smaller plaid, almost, it's not houndstooth, but it almost looks like a little bit of like a smaller check situation, I was definitely down. I can imagine this with my Doc Martens maybe and a cute sweater. Ooh, it might even look cute with the white shirt actually, like that could be a vibe with like a white bralette underneath and then that, we'll see. <laughs> All right, you guys, this outfit needs some work, but I'm losing light, so I didn't have time to perfect it. This is just kind of like what I was brainstorming in my mind when I was looking at them. At first I wanted to put them with a different plaid top, but I didn't have anything good that was inspiring. So I decided to pair the non-jean, plaid pants with this crazy funky sweater vest. I literally love this thing. It's like so grandma and embellished with pearls. I'm pretty sure I've shown you it with a different like thrifted styling video. Um, <laughs> it's just so funky and fun. I love the way that this looks with the pants. It's just the turtleneck I don't know what different turtleneck or like what color of turtleneck I should have put with it. Yes, final decision. I should have done a black turtleneck and then black chunky oxfords that I don't own that I've been looking for so hopefully I'll find some soon in the thrift store because that would have been cute but this is what I came up with <laughs> all right guys this is one of the pieces I found at the Goodwill that day it is a men's long sleeve shirt I have a lot of plaid long sleeve button downs but I don't have a lot that have like this little collar and I thought that could look cute maybe like sticking out of some sweaters or something I'm not really sure but I like it I got it at Goodwill it was in the men's section for five dollars Land's End here's the men's shirt that I styled this is definitely like my normal style I feel like very neutral and just like more basic for me not pushing myself outside of my comfort zone I did style it with this little like felt bag that I thrifted maybe like three or four months ago. It needs a good depilling, so definitely handmade. And then I just have on these H&M jeans and my Vans Old Schools. It's kind of a more masculine outfit. Very warm. I love it. This is something I would definitely wear. Like I'd probably wear this for the rest of the video, so. Honestly, I'm losing so much light right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like the sun is literally down, so I don't think I'll be able to style the quilted bag, but I'll put a picture of myself with the outfit when I'm showing you guys before the video ends. And then the last thing you guys saw was this super funky grandma patchwork tote. I literally love it. I think it's so cute. Like it's, it's cute in like a very ugly way. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think it's so cute. I understand that Probably more than half of you guys are like, that's hideous, but it's exactly what I was feeling like on my Pinterest board when I was like pinning all those funky, fun, patchwork, quilted, colorful things. All right, you guys, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys ended up enjoying. This is something so out of my comfort zone or just like not my normal. So let me know if you guys ended up liking it. Let me know if you guys like me to do these types of videos where it's like challenges for me to try to thrift things that I don't normally thrift. 
I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! My camera's dying. Gotta go. Bye.